Yoka, the Jerry and I discussing a forensic uh, psychiatrist. So we start by defining what forensic psychiatrist is. And remember, uh, this channel is not a substitute for school, hospital, and of course, uh, any legal proceedings. Alright? So, forensic psychiatry is a branch of psychiatry which deals with the assessment and treatment of mentally disordered offenders. And it includes those areas where psychiatry is interact with the law. Okay. Then you come to forensic nurses. You are saying forensic nurses, this is a subspecialty in nursing that assists the mental health and the legal system in serving individuals who have come to the attention of law. So, so helping individuals who have come to the attention of law, so that is the legal and the mental health. Okay, so care of uh, patients in forensic uh, psychiatry uh, is done in Zambia. Uh, it's done under the uh, the penal code 87 and the prison act of the Zambia constitution. Okay. Now, we have the presumption of uh, sanity. So, I think under presumption of sanity, it's saying every person is presumed to be of sound mind and to have been of sound mind until the contrary is proved. Okay. Then you have uh, insanity. So, in, under insanity, you are saying a person is not criminally responsible for an act or omission. If at the time of doing the act, he or she is having a disease that is affecting his or, uh, his or her mind or understanding. Okay, then you come to correspondence. So when you say correspondence, correspondence, this is the activity of writing and receiving letters. Okay, so we can also say it is the communication by exchanging the exchange of letters. Okay, so I say adjudication order. So an adjudication order, this is the hearing and settle a case by judicial procedure. In the case of forensic patients, it means it has to be, the patient has to be tried before uh, the court of law. Then it has to be determined whether they are guilty or not. However, before they can be tried, they have to be examined. Okay. So, two psychiatrists have to examine the patient and determine whether they are competent to stand trial or not. Okay. Then you have a control order. Okay. So, a control order, when an adjudication order has been made, the court will make a control order for control, care, or detention of the patient, specifying that the patient be detained in a prescribed place while his or her case undergoes judicial review. Okay, then we have a detention order. A detention order, this is an order that restrains a client with mental illness to be admitted in a mental hospital for a minimum of 14 days. After that, a psychiatric personnel should finish a report to the registry about their findings concerning the patient. Then we have court reports. So under court reports, that's where now patient progress report is provided by the psychiatrist. This is done while the patient is in detention. The report, the report consists of a psychiatric assessment that should be objective and professional. The report should be of, uh, the report should indicate whether the offender was mentally insane at the time of crime or not. Okay. Then you have a transfer order form. So a transfer order form, this is the form that is used when transferring a 
infection with mental illness from one hospital to another. This form has to be filled in by a senior major team in the support course. Alright, thank you very much. Until next time. Uh,